Hello Trip. In today's video, we're going to have a look at how you can take the old school feeling drum brakes or slightly weaker naturally recorded brakes and make them pop out a little bit more in your mix. And I want to do it in a way that's really easy to follow because it's some relatively complicated concepts. So I'm going to use a preset of mine which is available in Wave's Studio Rack and thanks to their new Studio Verse system, I can just put a link there and you can download it and then use it right off the bat because Studio Rack is a free plugin, assuming you own the Waves tools. If not, I'll also link up some alternatives for each tool and then you can build it out in your own way. Okay, so up on the screen, we've got a break at the top. Let me just turn everything off. This break is from Complete Soulful DMB Volume 1, which is linked below if you want to grab a bunch of breaks and other sounds. And it's a pretty natural sounding, natural break, right? And for the most part, that sounds okay. If you're gonna layer that in with some other kicks and drums, which is its purpose, it's gonna do the job. But there are some things we can do to ramp it up to kind of a more modern feel. Two cases of R bass, Aphex Exciter, DSer, and the SSL comp. Sweet, so hopefully you can hear that we bump up a load of brightness, it's a little bit more squished together, and the kick especially sticks out a load more. Let's look at how we did that very, very simply. Firstly, if you wanted to just load this preset and be ready to roll, what you can do is open Studio Rack, play your drum break into it. If you've downloaded this kit, you've got exactly this break. Hit this little icon here, search by audio. When we play it back, it will search for related patches and I believe mine's the top one. Yeah, there we go. So we've got old drum break to modern by unders. You could just click that and it will load it up for you. So let's disable a bunch of these. To give you an idea, the first R bass is the kick. This is snare, this is our brightness, this is our taming, and then that's obviously our glue. First R bass here, really simple settings, right? We've got a frequency set in here. This is gonna be 96, will be like F sharp, something like that. Um, and it's restricted in the macros. It can only go to a certain degree either way, and it's one octave basically of all the tunings. So we can very easily tune our kick drum within that octave within the general kick drum range really really easily there and then we've got DB right below it so that's how much we're able to push that up so what this does is it pushes up that harmonic of the kick drum and adds it in there and that allows us to just have that kick pop out a little bit more like that snare then does the same thing but much like The kick, it's limited in terms of its frequency range. I mean, it's limited within that second octave up, half of it. And you're looking at the body of the snare here. So we're really lifting up that body of the snare there. You can really hear it if you overpronounce it. You've just got a, a dial in control there for it. If you can't quite find it, this is gonna be right within that range for it. without those two. Now you'll notice we'll get some um, peaking here. We might red line. The SSL comp is dialed in to stop that happening, but it's, but it's disabled for the moment just while I'm demoing this to you. Now the Aphex Exciter, that adds a bunch of brightness for us. It's limited again in what it can reach because we don't want it to overdo it. And that's on here is brightness. And you really notice it in the, in the open hat. Brings us out a huge amount. And there's just, I found anything beyond that tends to be too much. 
and then that takes it all the way off. So there's nice, a nice balance to be had in there. Um, equally, you might want to bring this brightness up, but you find that something else then pops up too much. So I've got Tame in here as well. Tame is the de and we can open up the de here. And what this is doing is basically taking a frequency and just suppressing it a little bit wherever you might find it's a little bit too harsh. You can open up the plugin and hear just what it's doing. Then we can still just dial it in with the macros. We can choose the frequency. And then the dB, just simply how harsh it's going to be tamed. Maximum of the 9 dB drop off. I think any more than that and you're going a bit extreme, you're beyond what this would really be there to fix. Yeah, you can dial that in like that. And the very last thing is the glue, which is the old SSL bus compressor. And this is a little bit smarter in how it's rigged up. You'll see that if we open it up, there's a couple of parameters linked to the one macro and it's done so that as one adjusts, the other adjusts, keeping us as close as I could, like a relative gain. The harder we compress here, the more it gains it back for us. Or gains it up, sorry, to compensate. It does a pretty good job. We can just glue things together quite nicely. So that's really the main gist of it. We're using those frequencies with the R bass to help the kick and snare really pop out of the mix a little bit more on these dollar breaks. And then when you're using like an older kind of break or this kind of real recording, you often need the brightness instead of getting the EQ and just shoo, bashing that up. I use the Apex Exciter to add loads of that high end, but it can overcook it in certain areas. So we then go into a DSer just to retame that. And you can hear it brings all the open hi-hats up, all the cymbals up, then we can just tame the areas it made a little bit too harsh. Then the glue compressor just whoom, sticks it all together. So when you layer it with other breaks and get your other percussion in there, it all just sits really, really well. I hope that's given you a good chain idea and something you can work with. Like I say, if you're using Studioverse, which is free, and you happen to have the Waves plugins already, uh, just grab that. It's free, no problem, and link below and all that jazz. And I hope you enjoy the sample pack. It's a massive sample pack and I think very fairly priced. Thank you very much for watching guys. And I do look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.